Hey you all, welcome to the channel, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to look into your Sun, Moon and as well rising sign for the week 18th of January up until the 24th of January 2021 and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading you can go to my website which link you are going to find into the description down below there at the very front page you are going to see the full list of my services as well their prices and depending on your budget and uh, your needs you can purchase whatever service suits you best. Upon purchase within 24 hours I'm going to contact you via email so make sure you do check your spam and junk folder as well because sometimes the email provider likes to throw my messages in those folders. And also if you are interested in Tarot, you want to learn to read Tarot I'm offering as well tarot classes in case you want to check them out. Uh, they are under the tarot classes section. So with that being said, guys, um, I hope you do enjoy the show. Right. So uh, we have Leo Sun, Leo Moon and as well uh, Leo Rising weekly reading. So uh, let me shuffle the cards and uh, jumping right into it. Right, so first card we have for Leo that is to be the uh, the lovers the lovers ah the lovers card quite of a start. Uh, moving next, that is to be the two of pentacles followed by uh, the that is the empress. So followed by the empress. Afterwards, uh, we have judgment, and last one that will be wow well, the sun. I mean, quite of an ending here is what we have. Um, So, people get quite excited um, when they see the lover's card. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it could refer to love, right? Uh, but also it could refer to some kind of a decision that will be bestowed upon you at that particular point. And I do believe that that is to be the case uh, here looking at the next of the cards but that decision could also involve into decision in term of law right the whole point with the lovers here at the start of the reading is which choice makes your life more harmonious than others which choice is gonna allow you to resolve the predicaments or to um, deal with the aspects into one's life your life in that case, Leo, uh, that makes your life uh, unstable, let's say that way, or makes your life kind of like uh, holding by a thread if you are in a difficult, uh, in a difficult positions. With the lovers, uh, things usually relate to uh, such kind of a decisions that are you going to do what you want or are you going to do what you have to. Now, the good thing about this card it is that there is no right or wrong decision at all. I mean, you got to do whatever suits you best at that particular point. Some people are going to suit them best if they do what, you ha what they have to. Some people are going to suit them best if they do what they want to as well. Uh, judging by the next card, and we're going to get into it in a minute here, uh, it will be a bit challenging um, or, or kind of like the universe is a bit challenging you to decide this time around contrary to your original decision that you have made put it into such situation before the situations beforehand. But let's touch on the love subject because people get excited, like I said, seeing the lover's card. If it does refer about love, right? Uh, lovers is, uh, especially for starting relationships, it's very difficult card. That is because the lovers, it does combine the difficulties. Not the difficulties, I'm sorry, but the differences, okay? It does combine the differences, meaning that um, a love you are to experience is going to be unlike anything you have experienced before, and it's going to be scary. That is because the person that you may fall in love with or the person that you are falling in love with are... Drasti. Um, imat consultatie. Hmm? Ne znam. 
right so that is um, another person from the studio I'm sorry about that anyway so it's it's nothing unlike you have any anything experienced the person that you're gonna fall in love with it's it's completely different from you you know you you are kind of like imagine it that way if, if if women are from Venus man are from Mars so complete difference but with these differences if you do allow that interaction to unfold and to um uh, how can I say to explore it then you are going to see that those differences instead of uh making you uh, how can I say drifting aside apart uh, they are gonna make you special for one another just hold on a second to say something here sau să sfârșit video tu și și mă să provedă de consultații tu că ne-am Right, so let's uh, let's move to the next one, which is the two of pentacles. And as I said here, we do we, we can see a glimpse of what the lovers refers to, and that is that there will be um, there will be aspects that you are going to start reconsider or, or concepts that you are going to start reconsider, seeing that those differences actually are making your life or the differences in the situation that you are deciding in favor of uh, are going to make your life much more versatile, much more dappled with activities, you know, certain plans that you have found quite stagnated are now going to start opening themselves up. And um, just let me close the door. Yeah. All right. So these situations are going to start opening themselves up and uh, you Leo are to see that whatever was uncomprehensible before the situation with the lover's card now actually start making uh, or start making itself more sense than uh, than before and uh, how do I say it? those small changes that are to appear at the start of the interaction or whatever decision you're going to make in favor of uh, those small changes are go those small opportunities let's say that way those small opportunities are going to make big changes in your life and then uh, we are moving to the middle of the week which is described here by the Empress card and um, at that point, you are going to start seeing the seriousness of the situation. And under seriousness, I don't mean it in a bad way, but to realize how deep and serious the things are. And uh, while at the start of the week, up until the middle of the week, you know, things are going to move in a very fast pace. Here at the middle of the week, you are to decide to slow down the pace, uh, just so you can make the most... Um, well found and how can I say a um, balanced positions for yourself because you are in case it's love you wouldn't want to end up hurt or uh, in case it's about for example business endeavor to uh, decide what is the best possible investment that you can do now those decisions uh, um, decisions of how you are to approach the situation because the decision are you going to approach the situation or not have already been made and uh, the decision about how to approach the situation is forming at the middle of the week and uh, at that point you're going to show a how do i say it you're going to show a huge sense of maturity here okay um, and also um, reliability if you will and understanding as well that whatever you are to sow you are to reap so the uh, it will be a reciprocal involvement especially if we're talking about love here okay and uh, with the Empress all your actions that you are to put into the the whole endeavor here are going to be actions that are simply going to improve the comfort in your life, the stability, the lucrivity, and in generally, you are to find yourself much more in a much more comfortable place than you had been last week or the week before or even at the start of the week. And right after that, we do have judgment. 
And this card pretty much points that whatever uncertainties you do have from the differences and from those small and minor um, changes into one's concept, you know, things were not exactly clear at that point and uh, that's why you had slowed the pace and etc etc now from the middle of the week to the end of the week um that will uh, those not disagreements but lack of clearance is not going to be there anymore i mean from the mid up until the end of the week everything falls together it snaps into its place and uh, I safely can say here with the judgment, it is that you are going to pretty much love what you see. Okay, that will be, uh, you are going to realize at that point that whatever you have waited for, it, it came about. Okay, the love you have waited for, the business partner you have waited for, the chance you have waited for, if you will, to, to strive for a... Um, uh, for a higher salary, for a bigger place at work, you know, or the work that you have straight, strafed for as well. Judgment here uh, kind of like banishes the lack of, uh, the, uh, the lack of, how can I say it, uh, the lack of decisiveness, if you will. That is because if you imagine yourself being wobbling in between a couple of decisions, few options available, but neither of those options available actually served your purpose, there were some, some sort of a uh, compromises that you had to make with those options available, judgment comes about as the option available, as the choice that makes all of your criteria fulfilled. And pretty much the overview, the picture, the, the, the puzzle, if you will, is, is finally assembled. And based all on that, at the end of the week here with the Sun card, regardless if we're talking about business here, business decisions that you will have to make, okay? Regardless if we're talking about relationship that you are establishing or that you are dappling with more colors, Sun card points that whatever you are creating with your decision making at the start of the week here you are to see its true potential it's expanding energies of growth that is gonna make um, that is going to revitalize you is gonna make you burst with vital energies and uh, and enthusiasm if you will and joy and exhilaration and um, then at the end of the week you are going to see that that, that that thing unfolds naturally. It is pretty much there is nothing abnormal into it. Uh, it, it there is nothing for you to be afraid of. And in generally, uh, you are to see that this was how it was meant to be. So, uh, and that is gonna make you very happy. One last thing I wanna say about the Sun card before I wrap this thing around. It is that Sun card does not strive when you try to push things, right, to, to bruise yourself on things. Instead, the Sun card does strive when, uh, when you allow, like I said, the situation to uh, unfold naturally and trust the natural process of, of development. May that be in terms of career or in terms of relationship. And if we're talking about relationships here, guys, um, this is going to be the breaking point in a sense of that either you make it or break it where uh, it will be pretty clear that, that your happiness makes the other person happy and other person happiness makes you happy. If that's not true, which I highly doubt that is not going to be true, then that will be the judgment here. It's the wake up call to tell you that that's not your woman, it's not your man. But, and somebody else is going to make you happy. But here it is the share of happiness, you know. And when you make somebody happy, that happiness of, of them makes you happy. So yeah, that being said, this was your weekly general tarot reading and uh, hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.